No, oh, that's dope. I never hold one of these. What's up, GQ? These are 10 things that I can't live without. Let's get into it. U.S. passport. I left my Portugal one at home, but this is the one. In order for me to see Ronaldo play, I had to get a passport. I had to go to the UK. My goal one day is to travel to every country, is to do a stream at every country one day. That's one of my goals. I'm probably like at 12 right now. Listen, everywhere I went, I went to Saudi Arabia, Dubai, UK, uh, America, Portugal, Brazil, North Korea, and South Korea. Oh, France, oh, I'm tripping, yeah, I went to Paris. Turkey, I've been to Turkey too, I've been to Turkey as well. Japan is 11. Oh, I will be going to Albania. What's a place you went that shocked you that somebody knew you, like people knew you? People from Turkey, Korea, and Japan. I was shocked that they knew me. I didn't expect the Korean to be like that at all. Like this dude gave me a, tw like he gave me a $20,000 change just from just seeing him at the club. That shit was crazy. People in Korea is crazy. I got like, I had to bring, I literally buy a whole new suitcase because they brought me so many gifts. If I moved out of the States, I'll probably either move to maybe Portugal, Portugal or Brazil. So this is a football. Obviously, I cannot live without this. I gotta practice my skills, you know, to become, you know, the GOAT. I just got signed to Man United, so I have to get better at the game, you know? If they put me in that striker position, you know, that's how I can contribute, you know? I can get the team hype. There's not really a striker right now. There's like, you know, there's no striker but Holland, you know? That's the wrong Manchester team. Did you mean this guy? I'm probably like one of the closest to Ronaldo, like his game, the step overs, like this is how the way I carry myself on the field. What's funny? Are you the best influencer footballer? Who would mm. you say is below you, right below you? I say me either Minister or KSI. Chris is pretty good and Philly. And they're like, they're not as me, but they're pretty good. Not on my level, not at all. But if they practice harder, they could get like me. When did you first get into soccer? When not first, probably around in the 19s, I say. About the 19s. Like the 90s, the 90s, the 80s, is when I first got into the sport. But bro, wait, where, where were you born? I was born in 2005. My next essential is fried chicken. Y'all already know why I like chicken. Mmm. Mmm. One time I flew my grandma out to come to my place just for her to make some fried chicken. And I was eating it for like two or three days. Is there like a tier list of fried chicken places? Yeah, I, I put my grandma's number one, two KFC, three Popeyes, four churches. What's up, fried? Oh, Korean fried chicken. I put that at third, matter of fact. Korean fried chicken is very good. Korean third, four Popeyes, five churches. Oh, Nando's, Nando's is good. Nando's got good chicken. I might put that, matter of fact, I might put that right below Popeyes. My next issue is Vaseline slash lotion. You know, people always say I'm ashy, so I try to keep it, like, let me see if I'm ashy right now. What do y'all think? Pretty good. Make some money on the internet, you heard. I was talking to Kevin Durant. He literally looked at my legs and said, you ashy as fuck, nigga. That right there, that changed me. You know, it really made me mad because Katie's the one that's really ashy. It was a picture of a meme, you can sh sh put the picture right here. It was a picture of KD and his legs is like completely white. Like bro, how you gonna say I'm Ashley but you don't even put on lotion, but yeah. So now I, was, I, I try to put Vaseline lotion on now. You prefer Vaseline over lotion or like? Oh, um, I feel like Vaseline feels better because it like lasts longer. And lotion sometimes burn. Oh, my hands. Oh, we were, oh, we were talking about hands the whole time? My next essential is an iPad. I do travel a lot and I get them home a lot. So I like watching anime on here. I like watching highlights on here. I like watching YouTube TV. It comes in clutch. I really like the iPad a lot. Top five animes. My fifth favorite anime, I will maybe have to go with this show called Erased. You probably don't know it. Four will have to be this one called Kingdom. Y'all don't probably know what Kingdom is either because it's kind of underrated again. Third one, I will maybe have to go with Black Clover. Y'all probably know that one. Second, I might, uh, I might have to go with Naruto. And first one is... One Piece! My boy Luffy, bro. One Piece is my favorite. 
Favorite show of all time. Back in quarantine, I was like really sad and depressed, bro. It was no school, but during quarantine, they put One Piece on Netflix. I would actually love this. Wait, my, this is actually my brother's calling me right now. Yo. Oh my God, it's actually, hey, what's up, bro? Yo, I'm doing a video right now. Oh, snap, what's up, everybody? What's up? Uh, I'm gonna let you. All right, Jamal. All right. Okay. That's my brother, Jamal. But, um, man, what was, yeah, what was I talking about? Like, I always knew what One Piece was, but I never clicked to watch it because I thought it came out in 1999. It was old and it's long. So I clicked the first episode, and that day I watched like 40 of it, like that day, and I was just addicted to it every day. I woke up the next day, 40. Next day, 40. Would you ever do voiceover in an anime? Oh, yeah, I would love to do that. Hell yeah. Mm. Hopefully one day. Probably in the works already, who knows? Woo! Obviously, Travel not, you know, I do sweat a lot, so I do need to have an extra pair of drawers everywhere I go, fresh pair of boxers, you know. I do backflips all the time, I bark a lot, you know, I dance a lot, so I gotta have a fresh pair of boxers. What type of boxers are those, bro? Oh, these are the CR7s. I, I usually wear either CR7s or, what I, what I got on right now? I got my boy Rafael Leo draws on, so, turn me up. Why you got Ronaldo boxers, though? Because he sent it to me, he like he actually sent it to me. Like I like I got a box sent to me, and and and, and it was a signed. I should have brought though. It was a signed underwear. <laughs> These underwear are very legendary. That specific pair. Mm -hmm. So are those, they not really clean, or they like? No, they clean. Smell them. No, 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 no. I'm Come on, smell them. I'm good. Like, Bro, they're literally clean. Like you wore them already. Yeah, I wore them, but I washed them. I, I'm good. I so nobody's gonna take the offer to. Yes. No, 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 no. Come on, you, you want to smell them? Nah, I think we good. Like I think I think All we right. I think we good. The essential, the Ronaldo kits and accessories. I cannot go anywhere without a Ronaldo kit. Anywhere I go, I always have to show my love. I always have to show my support. What's your favorite kit? My favorite kit? 2008 away Ronaldo kit. What? Black and red. Obviously, I have to always wear the Ronaldo watch as well. Always gotta bring this. This is 50K. Oh. And this Ronaldo chain is 50K as well. What I really like about this is like, it has diamonds on his kit. And it has diamonds like right here too. The boots has diamonds. Everything what he's wearing, it has diamonds. Sandy from TP made this chain, by the way. Just like, uh, you know, I'm the biggest Ronaldo fan, so I gotta, you know, I gotta carry. Oh yeah, hey, come here. But aside from everything, you know, I gotta bring all this shit with me, you know? Like every time I fly on a plane, you know, I have to bring his presence, you know, his aura, you know? It's there's this it's aura's coming out of that. This is the man, you know? Gotta do what I gotta do. Sir! This is it. What would you say to him right now if he was here? I don't even know. I'll probably just kiss him on his lips. Nah, if he was here right now, I would just say, I would just tell him like, like bro, like, I love you, bro. Let's do a stream, bro. That's, that's one of my dreams one day, is to do a stream or a video. If, if you watch Messi play and Ronaldo play, you will get a clear view on which one is better. He looks better, first of all. Just look at his face, look at the appearance, and his free kicks are insane and his kicks are insane. I mean, Messi's the GOAT. Messi's not the GOAT. Messi's the GOAT. Messi's not the GOAT. Messi's better. Messi's the GOAT. Messi's not better. Messi's better. Please stop talking. I just said Messi's, Messi's not. Messi's better. I said Ronaldo's better. Messi. I said Ronaldo better. Messi. Prove it. Messi. Ronaldo. Messi. Ronaldo. Messi. Ronaldo. Messi. Take him away. All right, Ronaldo. See you in London. Okay, my next essential is. Foam runners, my babies. These are my things right here. I cannot go a day without these. I put them on everything I do. Football, basketball, baseball, name it all, swimming. 2021, I used to wear Crocs. Only thing about those, they were like, they were loose. So I was like, and I, you know, I, I always like to stay comfortable. How many countries have those seen? These seen around three or four. These probably seen like seven, eight. These like the ones that I wear all the time. Why the mismatch though? Uh, Cause I got so many pair. It just be like, you know what? Let me just wear two, and, 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 and bro, and it's cool. I have around like 20 pairs. They're comfortable, they're amazing, but in a minute, I have to retire these, unfortunately. I might be working on something, so stay tuned. Just stay tuned, that's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna say nothing else, so just stay tuned. These will have to be going to retirement in a minute. 
my next essential, obviously I'm a streamer, obviously I need to go live, so got my man Slip, the cameraman, and obviously and we got the live you too. So these, these are the tools, so y'all see clips of me going live, this, this is the tool you need. FX3, and this is a live you, solo live you. Put the things in there and just... Well, we can show them real quick. Yeah, show them, why not? Why not show them? The behind the scenes of going live. Plug it in. Plug that in. And then you're good to go, you just press go live. Then you go live, that's all it is, so that's what I do every single day. I cannot live without this. That's one thing I, I really, really can't live without, so. Obviously, I still use the phone. I still use a phone to go live as well. For places that don't allow this, because obviously, some stadiums. stadiums. I went to the Ballon d'Or, one of my biggest, biggest streams. The, the World Cup. Stream. Yeah, my World Cup was one of my biggest streams, the World Cup final. So I have to stream on a phone as well. So phone is a good essential too. This is just way better. All yeah, around. just way better. What did y'all meet? We met back in 2022. I, I needed a, a music video shot. It was Shake Part Two. I don't, I don't even know how I found them. I think I was just checking my DM. I think he texted me or some shit. It's not true. You texted me first. Oh, I texted you first. Uh -uh. When you started doing training for the charity match. Yeah, exactly. That's when it was like turned into a full time thing. Yeah, exactly. And I started training, so I would start vlogging a lot. That's when I started vlogging. Then it just. Stack, don't stack, don't stack, don't stack from there, really. What do you guys have planned this year for your fans? There's some stuff coming up. I don't know if he wants me to talk about it, but... What? It's oh, God. Yeah, and we got more to come this year, too. Yeah, there's some stuff. More crazy. I don't know how we going to do it. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the nine things, but the last one, and nothing but the most important and the most perfect, is you guys. You guys, the support y'all give me, the love, my fans, I appreciate all of y'all, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. It's great to have a whole gang by your side, you know, that supports you and helps you. It's amazing, it's like having 24 million friends. Some of them might be weird, some of them might be fake, but you know, at the end of the day, they support you. Love y'all, thank y'all so much.